I got started with the robotic arm pretty much by chance, and it was, uh, it was really fortunate that, uh, that I was able to do that. My name is Matt Sutton, and I'm founder of Binary. There's tremendous freedom in terms of application space. I think as people become more accustomed to the geometry freedoms that 3D printing gives them, they're going to want this at scale beyond the desktop so that they can make objects that they might encounter in their living room or in an office space. There's definitely an inherent satisfaction with seeing something that was just an idea in your head, or maybe it was just a sketch on a napkin, actually come to life before your eyes in real time. And that's, I think, one of the most exciting things about 3D printing. So some of the objects that we've started with have been really playful furniture pieces for my children. I think the next question that you have to ask is how do you recycle these large format prints? We really had no path forward to realize this vision of taking recycled plastics and turning them into product. Through partnering with Massive Dimension, we've been able to not only print using plastic pellets, but we've really made headway in working with recycled materials like we've intended.